Well, folks, welcome to another Friday fishing forecast. And it looks like one part of the weekend is going to be pretty decent, but the later part of the weekend on Sunday is not looking too good weather-wise. They're calling for strong winds, 15 to 20, 50% 50 chance of rain in the morning. But Saturday looks absolutely beautiful. It lo it's going to be almost 80 degrees. The winds are going to be light. So, again, I recommend if you're going to go out and fish, I would definitely go out and fish on Saturday and not Sunday. But if you can only get out on Sunday, it doesn't mean that you can't go out and catch fish. But I'm just saying that Saturday is going to be the better day. And I just want to say uh, thank you to everybody again for all of the support. I know I say that every week, but I mean it every week that we just released uh, uh, a new jig and then we released a, uh, a new color. So we released the, the inshore slacker jig, which is a one with a one aught octopus hook. And some of my guide buddies have been using it and they absolutely love it for inshore for redfish, snook, trout in the bushes. And then they're catching a ton of sheep's head on the jigs. And I was talking to Captain William Wise and Captain Christian Lugo the other day, and they were talking about how it doesn't seem to get caught up in the rocks. It seems to slide through the rocks pretty easily. And it really gets the hook into the fish's mouth relatively, even without really having to set the hook. They've been very impressed. They've, they're, they're actually ecstatic over this particular jig, especially for sheep's head. But they have been using it for redfish, snook in the bushes like we did with Captain William Wise. We caught those redfish in the, in the trees with them. So that's one jig that we introduced this week. And then also we introduced the new neon orange color. Uh, that, this was a color that was brought up to me from one of my buddies. And uh, thank you, Cap uh, Rob Biondo, for uh, letting us know about that color. Um, if you guys have a color that you'd like to use and you don't see it, get in touch with me. And if, I, if, if it seems like it could be a good seller, uh, we might start stocking it. Uh, I'm starting to run out of room, though, in, in our retail store here at the office. Uh, we've got a little bit left, but uh, we may have to discontinue some colors to add some colors. But we'll get to that eventually in the, in the long term. But anyway... Let's go ahead and get into the Friday fishing forecast and talk about what we have in store for this weekend. It, like I said, Saturday looks absolutely beautiful like it is today. Today I think it's going to get up to 70 degrees, light winds, really nice day. And then Sunday is going to be bumpier, 15 to 20 with the front coming through. So, But that front's going to be coming through later in the evening on Saturday. So that Saturday bite, especially in the afternoon, might be pretty good. So let's go ahead and talk about the tides and salooners for this weekend. On Saturday, we have a low tide at 5.19 a.m. at a negative 0.52. And then we have a high tide at 9.58 p.m. at a 1.81 foot. And then on Sunday, we have a low tide at 6.01 a.m. at a negative 0.59 foot. And then we have a high tide at 10.49 p.m. at a 1.89 foot. So as you can see, the tides uh, are not absolutely conducive for inshore fishing because it's a slow slow incoming tide now me personally it's a great tide for grouper and snapper and matter of fact those inshore slacker jigs really did a number on some snapper from another captain friend of ours captain eric from fish and magician uh charters he went out and slayed the, the snapper on these little jigs. He, they're able to bury the hook inside the bait a little bit if they're using cut bait or shrimp. So it hides that, it hides that hook pretty well. But that hook is strong enough to be able to handle those, those snapper and things like that. So anyway, um, the, the, with that slower tide, I would definitely recommend that if you can find the fastest part, uh, work that for the inshore and then if you wanted to go fish for snapper or grouper or, or whatever uh, that slower tide is going to indicate that you can do that and so I would I would really pay attention to the salooner periods though because on these slow tides like this and it's more it's happened more times than not that on these salooners these fish actively feed much much better because they they that's the time that, that they're going to feed so let's go ahead and talk about the salooners for this weekend. On Saturday, we have a major feeding time from 8.33 a.m. to 10.33 a.m. Then we have a minor feeding time from 2.13 p.m. to 3.13 p.m. 
And then on Sunday, we have a major feeding time from 9.24 a.m. to 11.24 a.m. And then we have a minor feeding time from 3.07 p.m. to 4.07 p.m. All right, folks. Well, those are the major and minors for this weekend, along with the, the tides. And like I said, Saturday looks like it's going to be a beautiful weekend. Uh, light winds, high temperatures. I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Sunday does not look good. Again, uh, I want to share some of the top catches for this week. I really appreciate everybody sending in pictures. And if you haven't had a chance to send in pictures, send in pictures. It doesn't have to be caught on our gear. Uh, just as long as you watch the show, we want to show our appreciation back to you. So if you get a chance, send in some pictures for our top catches. We're going to do it every, every Friday fishing forecast. We're going to have the top catches. So let's go ahead and get into the top catches for this week. Okay, in this picture we have Andrew Callahan with a nice red that it looks like he was wade fishing. Wade fishing during this time of year is an awesome way to target flats fish like redfish, snook, and trout. In this next group we have Carl Boris with a nice grouper that he caught. Then as you can see is a cooler full of snapper. And then here's another nice snapper that he caught at the Skyway. Then in this last picture we have Joel Arias with a nice sheep's head. All right, folks, I just want to say thank you again for sending in those pictures. We really, really appreciate it. Those are the top catches of this week. Please, if you watch the show and you want to be involved, send us some pictures. Uh, a little update right now. Uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Big time. Big time. Fingers crossed. We are supposed to be getting our boat here within the next few weeks. Uh, it's been a long time. Don't want to talk about it, but Sea Pro has stood behind. And they're taking care of us and the boat. So we should be hopefully getting it back here in the next couple of weeks. Fingers crossed. But we are working on some big things here in the very near future. Uh, there's a couple different scenarios that we're working on. But we will get into that at a later date when they get closer to fruition for us. But as soon as we get back into the swing of things, folks... We used to do a uh, every month or every time we hit 1,000 subscribers... Uh, you know, 10, 20, 15, or 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We were picking uh, a winner every thousand subscribers to go out and fish with us. And we did some golden tickets uh, right before our boat went away. Uh, we had some golden tickets out there. So we are going to make good on those. We are going to make good on the golden tickets. And we are going to start picking the thousand subscriber winner every thousand subscribers that we get so we're gonna start doing that the only reason why we have not been able to do that is because we have been borrowing our friend Brian has been so gracious enough to let us keep his boat on our lift and to let us borrow it whenever we wanted have him come along fishing with us so we were very grateful in that we've and thank you to everybody that's invited us to go out with them we really appreciate that but we are going to get back into the swing of things and we will start picking out uh, a new winner every thousand subscribers to go out and fishing with us because with this whole thing we've met so many great people and i can't say thank you enough because it's it's been awesome i mean we we would have never met brian we would have never met ernie and katie if it wasn't for the show we've met so many great people and uh, we feel that we're building a relationship with all of you. And I think that's what's important is, is you guys are becoming like family. It's like when we do a boat show or do a seminar, we say the same people. And, and that means something to me. That means that, that we're affecting people in one way or another. So thank you very much for that. We really appreciate it. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.